Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Honorable judges of Pamnari Hepa as well as the first class to play during the three, ladies and Jeff Honor. My name is Shanida Asnalanina. I am the outstanding student of Politosita Siponabur. At this moment, I will refer an informative speech titled Preparing Indonesia's Wooden Generation through the Research Hack Learning Platform for Ponte Village in the Island SDD Number 4, Quality Education. Education is not just about memorizing facts or getting good grades. It's about preparing learners with the tools they need to success in life and make a positive impact on society. These are not only developing the hard skills, but also soft skills. Unfortunately, not everyone has access to poor repeat education. In this case, we are all about the situation in Indonesia. According to the Data the Population and Civil Registration Agency in June 2022, only about 6% of Indonesian population has received higher education. One of the factors contributing to Indonesia's lower education level compared to other countries is the lack of literacy among students. Honorable judges, the literacy rate in Indonesia is ranked 62 out of 70 countries. According to statistical data from UNESCO in 2022, there are only 0.001% of reading interest among the Indonesian society. This figure illustrates that there are only one evaluation out of thousands of Indonesians who is a keen reader. There are two main factors contributing to the low reading interest in Indonesia. First, there is a lack of reading habit here since an early age. Second, higher price for good quality reading materials. So what can students do? As a student who has a privilege to receive higher education, we have a responsibility to share it for the younger generation through an interactive way. One of the challenges we could have to improve is reading habit. To increase the reading interest in the community, especially the younger generation, we can provide an attractive and inclusive educational platform. During the COVID era, I tried to develop an educational platform focusing on research introduction to the general public, which is called Research Check. Research Check can be accessed through the social media platform at Instagram at Research Check. The learning platform that I have founded consists of some creative content about research tips and tricks, ideas from the surrounding environments, and leery cases. This platform performs live videos about research tips for beginner users, brainstorming, and television hacks. It also describes implementation of local systems such as medic, indigenous plants, and cultural activities from the research point of view. It is aimed for targeted groups which are students from elementary school to high school. Therefore, it will be easier for them to understand research in general. This will also shift their academic writing and critical thinking abilities. This platform can educate the community, especially the younger generation, with an attractive and easy to understand interface, increase creativity and environmental awareness, as well as provide an overview of the research implementation in the LEOI. Research Act can also collaborate with the Ministry of Education, Culture, Research and Technology Republic of Indonesia, so that the content produced can be more attractive and this platform can be disseminated throughout all regions of Indonesia. I understand that it is not an easy task, but with collaborative effort and teamwork, I strongly believe that we can create a better and more inclusive education for Indonesia. I heard judges, ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me. And before I close the speech, let me read the words by Elizabeth Warren. A good education is the foundation for a better future. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.